How's it going everyone? My name is Tyler with Henna King and today I'm going to do a video tutorial because you guys requested it and it made sense for us to do it for you. So today we're going to actually cover some important information you're going to want to know and need to know before applying our Henna Maiden or our Manly Guy products to your hair. And more specifically we're going to cover the strand test, the skin test. We're also going to show you how to mix the product what ingredients to put in it, what ingredients not to put in your mix, and we're also going to show you how to fill up the carrot applicator bottle and dispense it into the, the root applicator bottle. And we're going to show you how to do this because it makes applying the product to your roots and your crown first that much easier. And then after that you can apply it with your hand and we'll show you how to do that as well. And we'll wrap it up by explaining any, anything else you're going to need to know about our products and more specifically about applying it, mixing it, or anything else that are in the instructions. So let's get started. So before you do anything, it's always important that you test the product out on parts of your hair or test it on your skin first, just so you can make sure you don't have any kind of allergic reactions or that it is going to be the results that you're gonna want. So how you can ap apply this is, is through a strand test and a skin test. And first, let's go into the strand test. The strand test, what you're going to want to do is mix up a little bit of the product. You don't need to use the entire batch. It doesn't make sense to do that because you're only going to mix up a little bit, apply it, see what the results are so you can feel confident and know that you do not have any rare plant allergies and that it is going to be the results that you want without mixing your entire product because then you would have to apply it all to your head. So for the strand test, what you're going to want to do is completely saturate the piece of hair that you're going to be testing and for most of our our customers they like to use the inside part of a strand of their hair and you're going to do the exact same process completely cover and saturate the hair you're going to wrap it up with uh, some kind of protectant what you can use is a, a plastic wrap and uh, do it the same process wait the hour and a half to the three hours to make sure it's completely dyed and then you can go ahead and observe your results and again, make sure you uh, listen here shortly when I go into the mixing and application process so you know tips and, and ways to get the best results even for this strand test. So again, you're going to be doing this because some people do have rare plant allergies or just any kind of allergies to anything. So it makes sense to try this product out first if you're a first time user. And you're also going to want to do a skin test and what a skin test is going to do is you're going to apply the paste right to your skin and you're going to wait about the same amount of time. This, you would really only need to wait about 15 minutes or so because the product is going to dry on your, on your skin anyways. And then just wait over the next couple hours to 24 hours and see how it affected your skin. Did it make it irritated? Did it turn red? Did it blister? Or was it completely fine? And then you'll know you have no plant allergies to this product. Okay. So something else that's important that you're going to need to know is that our products do not lighten hair. Natural hair coloring systems do not lighten hair because there is no chemicals like bleaches. Our Henna Maiden and our Manly Guy system is a permanent hair color and it lasts roughly four to eight weeks. It all depends on what the condition of your hair is uh, before you apply our product and then also how you mix your product. That can also vary your results at the end and what we suggest for you to clean your hair, what you're going to want to use is sulfate-free, chemical-free, metal-free, uh, just pure natural organic shampoos and conditioners that can strip all your hair of the dirt, the oils, and any other kind of previous chemicals uh, that can affect your results. If you're a first-time user with natural products and more specifically with Henna King, this is important to, to know because also if you are used to the chemical uh, hair dyes, the, the time that it takes to activate is much shorter than natural hair dyes because it's going to naturally take longer. So before you mix the product, it's also very important that you understand that the powder, even though it's not activated, if it gets on anything like your counters or your shoes or the floor, and then a liquid is then applied to it, it will then activate and then it will stain. So make sure your products are completely sealed, nothing flies out that you do not see, and you can keep it contained. So make sure you cover your counters and everything else that you know is important to you. Also go ahead and use a glass bowl 
I would suggest, or some container that you don't mind if it gets a little bit stained. Also, do not use any metal in your stirring. So if you use a spoon, try not to use a metal spoon or anything like that. I would suggest a plastic spoon or something like a spatula, the plastic like cake spatulas, that, that works well too. Is, and it helps smashing the powder once the water's in there with a spatula, so I would suggest a spatula or a plastic spoon for that. All right, so that's part of the mixing process. Um, what you're also going to want to know is, and this is one of the major reasons we're doing this video, is to not deviate from the instructions. So make sure you go over the instructions very, very, very clear before you apply any additional products or ingredients to it because you read it online and other people have suggested it. And there are reasons for this and we'll cover it here in one second. And we'll also delve into it a little bit more in some more videos a little bit later. And more specifically, let's cover lemon juice, vinegar, and salt. Yes, these are applied to some hair products and it just depends on what color you are applying to your hair. So just read the instructions. It will tell you if you need to apply lemon juice or if you need to apply salt. And the reason for this is they will either bring out more of the red or they will bring out more of the darker hues. So if this is the result you're going to want, go ahead and read the instructions a little bit more carefully. All right. So once the liquid is added, the product will be ready for use. All right, this is important also because some products actually take a little bit of time to activate after a liquid is applied to it. So what we're going to suggest is that you do not wait after you mix up the product to apply it to your hair. As soon as you apply the liquid, it will be ready to use. We have very high quality henna and it shouldn't be left sitting out. Some people do because they don't want such intense color. And the more people who are experienced and have used this product often, they have their own methods. So go ahead and apply it as it suggests and then you can always deviate if you see that it's necessary. So we're also gonna show you a video where we apply the mix to a carrot bag and where we then use that carrot bag to apply it to our root dispenser bottle which is going to make it so much easier to apply your product to your roots and then to your crown. Okay, now that the mix is in the root applicator bottle, let's go ahead and apply it to our roots and our crown. So, as you can see, you're going to make a thick line right down the middle of your roots and you're going to rub it in on both sides and then you're going to flip your hair over and then do another section and so on until your into your roots and your crown are completely covered and then you can move on to the rest of your hair. So now we're going to apply the paste to our entire head. We're going to make sure it's completely saturated and there's no hairs that are sticking out anywhere. After we do that we're going to ball it up into a ball something that's going to be convenient for you to then wrap it up and then be able to have it sit there for about an hour and a half to three hours. Now that your head is completely covered let's go ahead and put on your shower cap and then we can go ahead and wait for the hour and a half to three hours. And that would be a good time. I can go ahead and go over anything else that I may have missed. And let me go ahead and check really quick. Okay, you're gonna ball your hair up at the top of your head if you have a lot of hair. You're gonna wanna go ahead and push it down. And, and then, then again, you're gonna put over either some wrap or the shower cap. And this is going to make sure the warmth and the moisture stays stays in on your hair which is going to allow your hair to stay activated to allow it to die for the full amount of time and again I would suggest using the sulfate free more organic shampoos and conditioners from here on out to maintain that good quality and to make your your coloring last a lot longer okay that should do it for this video tutorial again my name is Tyler with Henna King I appreciate you all for tuning in. And if you have any more additional questions, go ahead and submit that to our Facebook page. And if you need to order our Henna Maiden or our Manly Guy, go ahead and do that at our website at hennaking.com. And go ahead and have the most beautiful day possible, and we'll see you next time.